Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In today's video, we are going to see how we can do materialization of data in Azure Cosmos DB using Azure Stream Analytics No Code Editor. Stream data materialization is process of converting real-time data from a data stream into a format that can be stored and analyzed. In this case, we are going to store this data into Azure Cosmos DB. We are leveraging a very powerful no-code editor provided by Azure Stream Analytics where we do not have to write code. We just need to use drag drop feature and do a lot of different stuff. And in this demo, we are going to filter rows and columns and save into Cosmos DB, but we can do much more than that. We can do group by, we can do joining, we can connect stream data with reference data, enhance that and save into Cosmos DB or any other output source and later use can use for different purpose. So let's start the demo. So for this demo, we are into Azure portal and inside streaming demo resource group, we have this event hub where the event will land, stream will come and we have Cosmos DB also created. And let's go inside this Cosmos DB. Right now there is no container. So let's go ahead and create container. We can go into Data Explorer and we can see that this is one container is there. We can create new container from here also. So if we go into see the DB, uh, there is nothing in item. I'm going to delete this DB because a partition key. I wanted to put a proper partition key. So I'm going to use partition key as user ID. So let's use user ID. Okay. Now it is being created. Let's go to our namespaces and then event hub and capture data. So let's start this data generator app so that data will start coming into our event hub. It will start coming in sometime so we can go to this section and now if we scroll down into this ui process data section we have one materialized data into cosmos db let's start with this let's create now it says to setting up all these fields so let's set these fields we have already connected so let's connect it is going to detect this field, whatever is coming into event hub. This is the data is coming. Let's see what is the group by we are going to use. If you want to do, do aggregation, what aggregation we want to do. So let's count average of what or count. Let's do the count for user ID, right? save this one and then what fields let's add that field what we want to take count user id let's keep that and if you want to take any other then we can take that window id and time that's all we have to do now let's set the cosmos db this is cosmos db click stream container let's connect Okay, now let's save this. This is how the data will look like inside our Cosmos DB, count user ID and window time. Let's start. Let's go to Cosmos DB. This is the click stream. I will create one more container for next demo. In fact, let's go and see that if anything came into right now. Let's see what was the tumbling window. Five seconds. Job is still not started, so it is waiting. Let's this created partition ID. So let me delete this partition ID. Now this job is started successfully. Let's go inside this. Let's refresh. It should come into some time now. It might be failing due to this uh, 
partition key because in this data partition key is not being found so i have to stop this and let's remove these fields all together and whatever data is coming let's keep that one into db let's save this and let's start so now job is started uh, we should be able to see something in some time now it started coming it was because of user id only now whole data is started coming so we can see how the data is coming into cosmos from a stream now we can stop this one if we want to do any filtering also then let's stop this one and for next let i will configure this one uh, right now it is stopping so it just stopped. Uh, we can add some filter about also. Let's uh, add the filter in between, right? I want to do filter first. I want to give a subject only. Let me change this Cosmos DB connection. Sorry. I can put the output one more time here. And I want to put into the second one that's what i wanted to do because we have too much data inside now in this uh, cosmos i cannot go and show you what it filtered so that we can go and put this one let's put the filter we want to have only user id and or let's put the browser only browser if browser is coming as Chrome, then only let's put the filter right so this is one filter we have put right now so we are filtering based on event uh, based on a stream only browser equals to Chrome we can put multiple also if we want to put but let's keep that one I just wanted to save few things. Let me remove the request response. So I'm removing that one. Now if you see here also it removed. So this is column wise that I do not want it to put all the column into Cosmos, only subset and also the row wise. So let's save and start. So now a streaming job started successfully. Let's go to our Cosmos DB. Let's replace this. Now we can see the data is coming. Now we can see that filter data is coming only Chrome and also only certain columns. If we go inside the previous one, request response was coming and browser age was also coming. Now inside if we go into multiple only browser chrome is coming so that's how we can do filtering and other operation inside job based on a stream so now let me stop this one because it is going to charge based on that one only so i'm going to stop this job and that is what i wanted to cover in this video thank you